What's up YouTube? Jason here at Morphix All Drip Tiles. Welcome back to the channel and another video. This one is all over the place. Uh, in fact, this intro is being filmed after everything you're about to see because, well, you guys know I'm crazy busy with life and whatnot, but that's not an excuse. The excuse in this case is this is going to be a haul video, so to speak. Uh, as you guys have known, if you're paying attention on our live streams and the last couple of videos, we're kind of in a transformation period right now, moving stuff out, redoing uh, projects, putting in new pairings, getting stuff in that we didn't have to make new projects, kind of elevate us a little bit, move us into that next level, and hopefully bring on some really cool stuff. That is what this video is all about, is showing you some, not all, but some of the really neat things that we've brought in from some really awesome breeders to hopefully take us to that next level. So we're gonna go through a couple of the things. I'm gonna show you uh, some pickups that we got and kind of explain my thought process behind them. I hope you guys enjoy. One of the ways we wanted to upgrade our production and our collection around here was in the clown project. Obviously clowns are super popular. There's some insane, crazy combinations, but long range, we want to work into Ultramount Clowns, obviously, because I think that project's going to just be insane. There's already some amazing stuff being produced. We're obviously way behind on that, but we're working on getting there and we'll put our spin on it. The problem is what we have for clowns already is a GHI Mojave head for clown, which has been a great proven breeder and we've produced both GHI and Mojave clowns. Haven't hit on the combo, although that clutch is due to hatch here very soon, so hopefully we did. And we have a pinstripe clown uh, male. The female clowns we have are visual clown female with nothing else in her, a fire 100% head for clown, and a yellow belly 50% possible head for clown that hopefully will either prove this season currently. I think she's probably not gonna go. We got kind of late on that one because she was kind of late getting to size, so I'm probably gonna wait, give her a little bit of a month or two off, and then go back at it with this male. The point is here, not only are we gonna hopefully redirect our clowns a little bit, be able to put some more genes in it, but also now we've got a multiple code on male clown that we can put into Ultramel and whatever else down the road for double head combos and stuff like that. So let's head over to the other camera, show you what we picked up from RP Reptiles. Super good dude to work with. He's got some great animals. Communication has been fantastic. Let's open this box up and show you what we did to upgrade our clown game. All right, so we got the box here from RP Reps is the way it's listed. I'll have his stuff linked down below as well. And uh, you can check out their Morph Market page. They got a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, I just happened to find this mail in particular and I'm really, really hoping, and we're kind of taking a gamble here because it's, we're getting close to the start of the next season uh, and this male is very close to being of, of size and I'm just hoping we can get in there and that he will be able to produce this coming year because uh, we can make some really nice stuff with it. So I know you guys can't see a ton right now because of this camera angle, but we'll get there. I'm just unpacking everything. Packed really well, no heat pack needed because it's nice and warm right now this time of year. All right, here we go. I'm really excited about this. Because who doesn't love clowns, right? And not only that, we can make combos, we can make some extra stuff, and the double head possibilities are crazy cool with this. So what we have here from RP Reps is a, if not ready to breed, very near ready to breed. Hopefully he's gonna be eating really well with us and we can just keep him going. But this is a pastel Enchi vanilla clown male. And look at that head stamp. Hopefully it'll focus. Look at that. That is super cool. So I don't have a ton of experience with vanilla. In fact, we don't have any in our collection at the moment but I haven't had a chance to really get to know it very well. But the thing I've noticed in vanilla is it, obviously it's a little bit brighter, but it seems to soften, I guess is the best way to put it. So 
the edges on this pattern, the whites and the sides, the overall color, the head stamp, it's much softer than just a pastel inchy clown. There is a super vanilla, which is even more extreme of that. It's almost like, I hate to use the term butter because that's a gene, but it's very kind of buttery smooth, if that makes sense. But this guy looks fantastic. He's great size. I think he'll be just fine to go this season. We'll make sure that he gets eaten with us. But having, uh, you know, pastels always, it's one of those things like, yeah, it's a kind of a basic gene, but it seems to just work really well in clowns and certainly in hypo. Um, the Enchi is obviously gonna be nice because we get, you know, brightening and a lot of pattern with that. And then the cleanliness of a vanilla. So this into, you know, imagine this in an Ultramel as well. A pastel Enchi vanilla Ultra Clown. It's just going to be amazing, let alone the rest of the stuff we have planned for it and moving on down the road. So it looks amazing. I, I just, I'm more than happy with what we got here. So that one's really cool. I love the Pastel Inchy Vanilla Clown. That's going to be awesome. Uh, the fun thing is, I don't know if you guys have realized that obviously vanilla and fire are, if they're not allelic, they are. Uh, they're a really cool compatible gene that makes what's called a vanilla cream or if you add pastel a vanilla scream and The vanilla cream clown has been made and it looks insane like it, it is such an amazing combo So having that fire head clown female for this coming year if nothing else making Enchi vanilla cream and vanilla scream clowns is gonna be amazing uh, and then moving on down the road, even that in an Ultramel or whatever is going to be awesome. So huge thank you to RP reps for this boy and working with me on the price a little bit. His stuff's in the link down below. Can't wait to plug him in. Now here, clearly on a different day, different shirt, bunch of slot. Look at this. Look how much is missing in here. Um, I'm sure by the time this video goes live, you'll probably have seen this elsewhere on somebody else's channel. Uh, but we were able to move off a lot of hatchlings. So season's going really well uh, so far. I don't know in what order this is all going to be edited, but uh, bringing in animals constantly over the next couple of days. So wherever this falls into it, we've got a couple more here kind of working along our way of upgrading and more focusing the collection. And uh, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and open them up. First off, let's go ahead and start over here with I know you can't see it, I'll show you here in a second. Um, you know, one of the problems that, one of the problems that we have is that we only have, you know, one or two or, you know, maybe a couple at most of visual adult female uh, recessives. You know, we only have one, like I said before, we only have one ultra male, one clown, that kind of thing. We do have a couple of pides, but you can never have enough pides, and I kind of spoiled the surprise here. But you can never have enough pides, in my opinion, um, especially when we've got mahogany head pied stuff to make. Um, obviously, in dream sickles, we can work it into hypo and you know clown and that kind of stuff. We want to do little projects of it, but we've also got that female maker male banana pied, Stuart number two. So, um, not sure what order this is all going to go uh, together necessarily. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure what the pairings are going to be quite yet, but we did end up from my buddy Chris. You guys have seen him many a time, Chris Sexton, over at Heli Guy Serpents. We did pick up a nice, big, proven breeder pastel pied female. So another pied can never have enough visual pied females. So now I think that brings us up to three visual pieds. And a, hunt, and a proven uh, het pie combo, not including the dream sickle stuff. So, um, yeah. So who wants some uh, banana and banana pastel pies? Cause we're gonna hopefully go that way probably. So Chris, thank you. She looks great. Uh, obviously in great condition, great size body. Um, gonna easily breed this fall and add to our pie collection. All right, so that's upgrades for this year. Gotta look a little farther down the road too and pick up some more stuff that we don't quite have enough of. Uh, like we had said, we're working Ultramel, Clown, uh, Hypo, a little bit of Pied, some Dreamsicle stuff. But one of the other ones I really wanna get into to a certain degree 
uh, is freeways. If you guys remember correctly, we have that Orange Dream Phantom Het Red Exantic freeway that we picked up from Nicole at uh, Canadian Regis earlier in the year. And he is like 700 grams now and more than ready to breed. So we've got some plans for this year and that'll be more somewhere probably in this video of some animals we're bringing in uh, that we'll add. But we also wanna add stuff for a little bit further down the road. So a huge shout out to Josh and Jackie at Ball Python Shed. Um, I know you guys, if you were watching online on Instagram and that, we probably saw that I was down there not too long ago helping them build some uh, some racks like this one and had to do a little bit of shopping while I was down there I mean come on why why wouldn't I right so this girl I'm really excited about here handpicked this one out of the group that he had and this is hopefully you can see her this is a obviously banana spider orange dream yellow belly female so obviously there's there's tons of benefit to banana females because um, they throw male and female bananas and the males become female makers which are even more uh, cr crucial in certain stuff that you're trying to do and when you know we have a female uh, banana phantom yellow belly actually from Josh and Jackie as well and she's gonna breed this year in our freeway stuff but you know when we we've taken We've gotten rid of most of the spider in our collection. This girl has no noticeable wobble, maybe a tiny little tick if that. I will say we've decided to leave spider in our freeways because especially from what I've seen with Josh and Jackie's production in the freeway stuff, uh, spider is awesome in freeways. So this girl here looks fantastic. Obviously the female banana again, like I said, um, yellow belly to work towards the freeway stuff until we can start making super asphalts and, and that kind of thing and orange dreams so now later on down the road uh, depending on what I make this year we could be making super OD super banana freeways or you know whatever there's a whole whole host of possibilities with that so she looks fantastic I'm gonna go ahead and get her set up and we'll open the next one all right, along those same lines, speaking in the freeway project, this is something my wife has al always wanted. She's really been a huge fan of, and we found a few that Josh and Jackie had, and this one just really stood out to me out of the, the few that he had available uh, to pick up, and that is a female Mardi Gras. So for those that aren't aren't aware, Mardi Gras is an Enchi freeway. So what we have here is Enchi, Asphalt, and Yellow Belly. So obviously just a hatchling female. The, the, I picked this one in particular because just the, the rusty orange colors, the brighter purples over the saddles, the, just the color in this one was fantastic. I was really, really happy with this. So. Uh, obviously, obviously hatching, you know, a couple years out, but now you start putting either known asphalt, maybe super asphalt stuff to her, or even another freeway, freeway to freeway. Um, you don't have to go through the process of trying to figure out asphalt slash yellow bell. You've got super asphalts, freeways, and ivories. Makes it super easy. So, um, really excited to have her because we don't have Enchi anywhere in the freeway project yet. So that help that helps a lot and got lots of plans for freeway stuff down the road. I mean, imagine this in Ultramel. Just saying. Appreciate you guys, Josh and Jackie. Thanks for having me down, of course, and for letting me pick up a couple of awesome animals. We actually have some more. Uh, we have another one from Josh and Jackie. It's gonna be in another clip coming up in this video somewhere. It did not make this shipment, and so we'll do that when it gets in. As expected, it's another day, another t-shirt, and look, the rack's full again. So, uh, we finally got the last one in from Josh and Jackie at Ball Python Shed. For whatever reason, it missed the missed the shipment for the last package that you just saw. So let's go ahead and open this one up. This one is gonna be kinda cool. It's not so much a big, you know, high-end long-term project upgrade as it is upgrading stuff that I previously had held back and decided to sell 
kind of moving forward in time a little bit, if you know what I mean, um, and adding some more jeans that, that we like to work with and that uh, actually my wife really wants to work with. So this is a sub-adult, so it's not, not this year, but maybe next, um, just depending on how she does. This was out of, actually out of Josh's holdback rack, which was kind of cool, her grow-up rack. And that is a super enchy orange dream sub-adult female. Look at those colors. It's just so nice. So as you know, we had an enchy breeder female, obviously we've used quite a few times. Uh, and then we made a really nice super enchy female, but I recently sold her and we just want more orange dream in general. So we got orange dream here and super enchy. And obviously nice, good size on her. Well started for sure. Uh, like I said, probably next season, the end of next year, for we'll get her going. And maybe we'll put, uh, who knows, maybe we'll put Ultramel to it or uh, Clown or maybe even one of the freeways and make super OD yellow belly asphalt combos and you know, that kind of thing. So awesome girl. Thanks again, Josh and Jackie. Much appreciated that we could pull this one out of your holdback rack and, uh, and add it to ours. All right, and last but certainly not least, Again, another day, another t-shirt later. Um, I think this is the last one that's gonna be in this video because I'm pretty sure we've gotten all of them. We do have a couple other things we're planning to have come in, but they're gonna be a little while, so I'll probably make a separate video on those. But so what we have here is from Mario's Morphs. Not somebody I'd ever heard of or worked with before, um, but uh, they had a really cool animal here. You know, we've talked about before the the freeway stuff. Uh, you know, with our really cool freeway mail and that that uh, Mardi Gras we got from Josh and Jackie. And so we wanted to do more freeway stuff this coming season. Um, obviously, we're planning for further down the road with like that Mardi Gras and and that banana and whatnot. But as it stood, we only had a few. Uh, chances at freeways this coming season so we wanted to increase those odds a little bit um, not the greatest incre increase in odds that we could have picked obviously that would be buying an asphalt super asphalt freeway something like that but those are hard to come by especially as adults so instead we added this girl really excited about this one so in case you can't figure it out this is a proven breeder, pastel GHI yellow belly. So that with some of our, or with our freeway mail, can make some really cool uh, GHI freeway combos. And a lot of the freeway stuff that I've seen that has GHI in it is mint. So she looks great. Like I said, proven breeder. I like GHI anyway. Um, you obviously got the yellow belly in there to make freeways. Of course, we can still make ivories, but uh, those ivories will be more than likely packed with a bunch of other genes too. So all in all should be really good. Pastel GHI yellow belly, proven breeder female from Mario's Morphs. Thank you, man, appreciate it. She looks great. All right, guys, what do you think? Um, Everything is like all over the place right now, but all of those pickups I'm super stoked on. I, I can't wait for some of them to get up to size and start breeding. Obviously the breeders that we picked up, uh, we'll get them through, get them going, get them on feed, and we're getting ready for the next season. We've still got four clutches to lay currently, and I'm already like pumping up the other females and the males and that getting them ready to go because the season's coming quick. Uh, obviously these last four will be well later in the season, you know, probably into January before they start getting paired, but um, you know, the stuff's coming. So I'm really excited to see what's going on. More free, or actually our first freeways, hopefully. Uh, we've got a whole host of options there and chances to hit it. You know, it kind of sucks doing freeway to yellow belly because there's always that decent chance at ivories. And we got to play that yellow belly slash asphalt game, but 
you know, right now picking up breeder for your is, is either not reasonable or just not possible because uh, they're not available. So I'm really excited about the freeway stuff. We got a whole variety of things we can hit with that. Like trying to figure out, trying to ID those, it's going to be insane. You know, it's going to be crazy with an orange dream, phantom, het red, freeway male. So three jeans plus the freeway part, right? to banana phantom yellow belly phantom yellow belly that we've got already that pastel ghi yellow belly we picked up like what is a what is an od phantom ghi freeway gonna look like you know what i mean so it's i'm really excited that those pairings in particular are going to be exciting super cool obviously having another visual pied in the collection is paramount i mean it's not necessarily my main focus of the redirection that we're doing around here but who doesn't love pieds and actually picking up that pied has allowed me to move a different animal in a different project that's even more exciting that I'm hoping to do down the road. And I'll show that to you later on as we move into it. Uh, and then obviously the freeway, again, the freeway stuff. That's kind of where we went heavy. Uh, picking up new things was in freeway. There's other stuff I've been working on, but that was part of it. So that Mardi Gras female and that banana orange dream yellow belly spider female from Josh and Jackie as well. Those are going to be killer. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you check out the Morph Mixology uh, Morph Market page. That's kind of a lot of morphs in there, but you know what I mean. Uh, check out our page on Morph Market. Obviously, we still have a bunch of stuff for sale that's listed up there. A lot of proven breeders, a lot of ready to breed stuff. Yes, it's a lot of males. That's, I, I made the same mistake everybody did and bought too many in the beginning. Uh, but we got really good stuff for breeder males that are ready to go. So head on over there, check out Morph Market. Uh, check out the website, obviously. Stay tuned on here and on Instagram big things coming we got clutches to cut there's now what seven of them cooking four more to drop the big ones are coming the first couple of clutches pretty basic the next ones pretty incredible clutch six is out by the way uh, i'm gonna do an update video on that very soon that turned out to be a beautiful clutch so stay tuned for that video remember no more tuesday night live streams for the month of september which we're almost done with anyway uh, but we do have a live egg cutting very soon so make sure you're subscribed and you got the notification bell turned on for that that'll do it for this one you guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one see it